life goals to make sure he's staying on track. But for a student like Peter, there is no virtual program that can replace everything he received when he attended school in person. It's hard on Peter because he's a very active boy. He likes sports. He's, you know, he misses the Special Olympics, his baseball. He plays for the Miracle League, too. So it's been rough on him as far as that goes. And he does miss his teachers. He loves his, all his teachers. In the IEP where I feel like, I don't want to say we fall short, but we face greater challenges is the part where it's independent skills, life skills, where we need to teach them fine motor skills. If a child has difficulty writing, we're not there to physically hand over hand or use our strategies. When schools closed in March, the biggest challenge the charter school had to overcome was helping parents find the time to help their kids. They have to work and they work from home, some of them, and they have to do their thing. But then a typical classroom would run from eight to three. So. The way we were able to overcome that challenge was I had some of my teachers working as late as five or six o'clock at night so that they could still get their academic time in. Kia Lopez, the founder of Great Heights Academy, says parents have the option to choose from online, hybrid, or on-campus courses. But if they choose to do online, she's going to need the help of a parent or an applied behavior analysis therapist. If they want to do the online, then we need the either parent support or ABA support at home so that they can actually sit with their child. We'll provide